Right, I'd like to welcome you guys to this week's report. Um, it's been a while since I did one, but we have uh, rockfish opening on Saturday and some tuna starting to show up down south, so there's some stuff to talk about. Um, I'm going to be continuing my uh, SoCal Bite Fishing Academy as time permits here over the next few months, but you can expect more of those videos as I also start to reintroduce some, uh, some actual fishing things. So uh, let's, uh, let's head out to the map. So this is the uh, rockfish opener this weekend, and well, that's a good thing because there's some new waters that we can fish, deeper stuff than before. We do have some weather and some uh, other considerations to deal with, so I uh, want to take a look to at the uh, windy map here. This is kind of zoomed in in the SoCal Bight, and I've uh, put a flag up there by Santa Rosa Island because that gives a pretty good indication of anything that's running down in the outer islands, be it Santa Rosa, Miguel, uh, San Nick, even San Clemente Island. So, you know, this is starting out here on Thursday afternoon. We've got some uh, pretty standard weather here early in going into this Friday. We get a little bit of wind. Um, that'll start to back off into Saturday. And Saturday actually looks pretty good for the most part early in the outer Channel Islands. But it's going to start getting a little bit windier on Saturday afternoon, as you can see across the bite here. And by Sunday... Um, it's pretty blown out up at the uh, up at the Channel Islands. San Nick's looking windy. Clemente's probably sport boat fishable. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out there due to navy navy closures. But um, as we get into Monday and Tuesday, now it's really going to start blowing here. Everywhere you can see it coming down the line. I don't know if there's any storm really associated with this, or it's just a wind event. But uh, early next week doesn't look too promising anywhere. You can see there's some uh, purples in there, which is never good for us. But uh, it looks like it starts to back off again um, going into Tuesday and Wednesday. So hopefully that stuff will uh, not be too bad for us come next weekend. But we'll have to see how that goes. Um, private boaters, Saturday looks fishable in most areas. I checked the weather forecast pretty closely if you want to head out to Santa Rosa or any of those further places away. I looked at the uh, National Weather Service and they're not calling for a ton of swell. Um, pretty big swell up north but spaced out and uh, all the stuff down south there's not any swell that I would be concerned about really if you're going to Catalina or Clemente or even go out to rock fishing on your own boat locally or whatever um, again this being rock fish season your best fishing is going to be up the Channel Islands or out at San Nick uh, San Clemente Island will probably be pretty good this year because they've opened up the deeper water but the further south you go the deeper you're probably going to have to fish Keep that in mind. Um, something also to keep in mind, I think uh, September or August 31st, maybe September 30th, I don't remember exactly, they're going to close shallow water rock fishing through the end of the year, but they're going to leave the deeper stuff open. So you'll be able to fish really deep in the fall, but not uh, shallow. So you might want to fish shallow while shallow is open if you've got your own boat or if you're going to go on a sport boat. Um, San Clemente Island, uh, I looked at the naval forecast and Saturday the east end of the island is open front and back. There are closures on the front and back and west end of the island, but you know, it doesn't look too bad. There's times where they're open, there's times where they're not. If you look at the thing for Sunday, it's, uh, it's like the worst thing you can imagine as far as that map goes. At, uh, uh, it's uh, sceisland.org if you need closure information. But um, I don't know that Sunday anybody's be able to fish there. So, you know, I think if they're overnight boats online, they'll probably go to Nick or Santa Barbara. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot to report lately because not too many people have been fishing. I know my friend Andy Wright fished Catalina for two days and slept under a tarp on his boat, which I think is absolutely absurd if you're listening. But he had some nice calico bass. I'd say he saw a lot of active fish, 58 degree water all over the island. So, you know, you can go over to Catalina and, you know, Start out fishing bass, yeah, that goes. Maybe go fish some rockfish afterwards. Might be a good choice on Saturday. Probably the better weather day. Same at uh, San Clemente if you make it out that far. Uh, like I said, not a whole lot happening. I know my friend Nick Trujillo from Cast Crank Podcast went out to the break wall a couple times this week to try and shoot some photos for me for an article I'm working on for Pacific Coast Sport Fishing. And uh, while he didn't get any trophies, he had really good fishing on uh, him and his son. Caught a lot of fish on the Gulf Jerk Shad on a sled head. So, sounds like the coastal bass are biting despite the colder water and the storms we've been having. So, you know, if we've got front, 
probably catch sand bass on the local stones or maybe even go to the PV or something like that, catch some fish. I may do something like that Saturday, I'm not sure what, but I really am dying to get back out on the water, as I'm sure a lot of you are with all this rain we've been having. Um, so let's talk about the bluefin down south. Uh, I stole the uh, SST chart here from Fish Dope, and uh, so where the, where the tuna are is way down here at the bottom of the map, down around the tuna hole area. It's about 150 miles from San Diego. There's a little plume, a little spot of warmer water there at the bottom. It's probably in the high 50s. But I don't know exactly where those fish are in, that, in relation to that, that warmer water. So they might be on that cooler edge of it. Um, we have very similar water going all the way up to San Diego from there. And I checked out the chlorophyll chart. And while it's not quite as clean as the water those fish are in, I don't think it's dirty enough to stop them from coming up. Uh, bluefin don't seem to mind a little bit dirtier water. In fact, I think sometimes they prefer it. Um, what we are facing at this time of year, though, is the uh, summertime uphill current has not started yet. And if you've been watching my SoCal Fishing Academy, you know what I'm talking about here, the California countercurrent. So we have to ask ourselves what would cause these fish to, uh, to swim up the coast here. So um, they're either going to run out of bait down there, the bait's going to push up, or uh, we're going to have to wait a while, I think, for those fish to move up far, because they are pretty far away. In, in recent years, they weren't quite that far at the beginning of the season. But another consideration is um, these fish are um, only being fished by two or three boats. They're long-range boats that are going out, so there's very little coverage prior to now, so the boats, they're going on these two day trips, you're running 150 miles, you're running straight down there because you don't want to look around too much because uh, that's a long run. You know, it's 30 hours round trip. Um, I think with these fish being caught though, these fish are in the 40 to 100 pound range for the most part. I think 170 pounder was caught on one of the boats. Uh, mostly at night, a few boats catching fish during the day. It's just pretty typical for this time of year down there. But that doesn't mean there aren't fish in other places. You know, we've been hearing rumors all winter long about fish outside of Clemente, fish in, in between Cat and the mainland and all this different stuff. Um, I'm not saying there's a ton up here and easy to catch places, but I think once we start getting some more coverage out, we might start seeing some more fish. Be that a rockfish boat going to San Nick, be that a day and a half boat going out of San Diego and saying, hey, I can't run 150 miles one way and let me go look out here. Uh, be it, you know, the guys that fish bluefin from their private boats and all the other things. If we get some stable weather, I think that we'll find there probably are fish. You know, just looking back at that, at that water there, um, that's a pretty big area where those fish could be and there's no reason they shouldn't be there. So I think that if we just get a little bit more coverage, we might find some more of these fish. Um, I'm not gonna promise you that this year is gonna be as good as it was in previous years. This is a very different weather system than we've had in recent memory. Um, I can't remember the last time we've had rain like this, this consistently. Um, but it, then again, I don't know what it's going to do to fishing. It might make it better, might make it worse, might change it, might do nothing at all. So, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this week. You know, it's uh, decent weather Saturday and Sunday. You know, if you're going to go far, go Saturday. If you're going to fish along the coast, go either day. Watch out for that wind come Monday or Tuesday. And as always, you know, at this time of year, keep an eye on that weather forecast right up until the point where you're heading out. And if you head out, it's different than you expected and worse. Keep that in mind. It's probably not getting any better. But, hey, let's hope for some better fishing this year. And I uh, hope you guys all have a great weekend and good luck if you fish.